Hey guys, it's Nikki from Stillworms Nursery. I just wanted to show you how I weight my doll heads and what I use to weight them so you guys can sort of um, get a bit of um, feel of how um, my completed dolls go out. Um, so what I've got here is I've got a custom order doll kit. So I've done the hair and everything's been gluing and dried. So now I can weight the inside of the head. Um, I've got um, just stocking. I've just cut it and I've tied a knot in the end. Some people double knot the ends um, of the stocking, but I find just one knot, um, if you tie it tight enough, is quite um, sufficient. Now with the stockings as well, depending on if you're using glass beads or if you're using um, the white poly pellets, if you're using the glass beads, the larger glass beads, um, you're going to want a stocking that's got a nice tight weave on it so the glass beads don't um, filter through. So this is the stocking that I've got. So as you can see, it's a nice tight weave. And the glass beads that I've got, I sell two of these um, types of glass beads on the website. Um, I'll put a link to um, the larger glass beads that I'm using today um, in the descriptions bar below so you guys know which ones um, that I'm using. They're basically the size of um, sort of grains of sugar. So as you can see, they're fairly, they're just little bits of round clear glass. So they're not sharp, they're going to um, not cut through the stocking or anything like that. So that's what I use um, to weight the head and it gives a really nice um, weight compared to the white poly pellets. And then of course you're going to want your soft filling. I like the really soft stuff, I think it just gives a really nice feel to the doll once you've sort of in the body um, especially. I'll use this one to sort of just put in the top of the head before I put the weighting sack in and then I'll just fill in the rest sort of around the weighting sack so it's basically in the centre of the head. So what I'll do, or well what I start to do, is I'll just get a, um, you can either use a cup, I've just got a, like a little petri dish or ceramic dish, just line it with a sort of like a cotton or something something soft so it's not going to damage the doll and then I'll just tip the head upside down and just sort of sit it so the hole is at the top of the head so you can sort of work your way quite easily and as you can see inside the head the hair is all glued and eyelashes and stuff are glued as well so what I'll do to start with is I'll put probably about um, a handful or so um, or fluff just in the top of the head. And you sort of want to poke that down and make sure it's sort of flat and e quite even. So sort of filling just about half or nearly half of the head. And then with your stocking you can either leave the knot on the outside or you can turn it inside out. I'll normally turn them inside out if I'm putting them in the bodies because then you won't feel the little knot. Either way um, is fine. And then with the glass beads, this is probably about a cup. So depending on how heavy um, and floppy you want your doll head, depends on how much of the weighting that you're going to need. So I'll just sort of play around. And as you can see, that's not coming through the stockings at all. So it's actually nice, nice to the end there. You can double bag it or double stocking it if you like. But um, I find that one is um, enough. So that's what it should look like. And then sort of to get the weight, I'll normally just sort of sit here and go, you know, like this is, um, well here's a 20 sort of inch kit. So you want the head sort of fairly um, heavy. I'll normally put about a cup in. I'll normally, this is sort of about my standard that I'll put in, if not a little bit more. So I'll just put the remaining of that in there. And that's quite a nice weight. So then what I'll do is I'll just stretch it up the top and you want to leave a little bit of room so you can sort of get it in, not only to sort of get it in the head, you know, easier, but um, it just sort of allows them to move around a little bit more freely um, and it's not going to make your head really hard. So I'll just sort of tie it about halfway, sort of halfway uh, up the stocking so you've got a little bit of room. And just make sure that your knots are nice and tight so the beads aren't going to come out. You can leave the excess on if you like just in case um, you want to add more weight to the doll um, or the person who's um, buying the doll can actually add um, more weight if they um, want to. So I'll just sort of tie that up. 
And then what I'll do, just sort of get one of the ends into like a little ball and I'll just sit that in the head, just like that. And that adds like a little weight um, to it, which is actually gonna pull the stocking down and um, make it sort of a little bit more easier for you to get the waiting sack in the head. And then all you need to do is just sort of let the beads fall three fingers and into the head. And then I'll just curl that up. Just curl it up like that. And then just sort of tuck it in. And what I'm trying to achieve is to get the waiting sack in the middle of the head. So it gives it a nice floppy feel. So there you can see um, the waiting sack is actually on top of the fluff. And now what I'm going to do is just fill in around um, the waiting sack with fluff to stop it moving and um, rattling around and everything. And you just sort of want to make sure it's all covered. Sort of push it in and around, the, you know, if you've got open eyes, sort of push it in around up the top of the eyes, especially sort of up in this area here. So sort of make sure it's all filled in and it's not going to move um, around. So that's about half filled. Now what I'll do is I'll just get my little thing or my two fingers and I'll just sort of part the fluff in the middle and I'm just going to grab the waiting sack and just sort of bring it up just a little bit just to make sure that it's actually in the middle of the head and that way the fluff can sort of just move around and sort of sit in position. So you're sort of wanting it to look like that and then once you sort of fill in the rest of the fluff the waiting sack is going to be in the middle of the head. You can sort of test the head as well. So um, you've got to remember that the vinyl is quite heavy as well so take that into um, account as well. But you can sort of just test the head and sort of see if it's you know the weight that you want it. And that's quite I'm quite happy with that weight, so I'm just going to fill in the rest of the um, gap with the fluff. And you don't want to overfill it either because vinyl is quite stretchy and it will actually stretch the doll face um, out of proportion, so you, you'll probably get a fatter baby around um, the temples. So just sort of, you know, fill it in and, and then have a look at it and make sure it's not sort of puffing out um, here too much. But that's quite good. In that little bit extra and if you've got the neck ring and the plug um, as well you can put that in um, and seal the filling in there so that's not going to come out once you've actually done the neck ring and the plug so it's actually going to hold the filling in and then once you've done that you can just test your weight of your head to sort of see how it's going to flop and that's quite you know realistic see so he's sort of flopping sort of back which is really good so I'm quite happy with that. And that is basically how I weight my dolls or my doll heads. I've done other weighting tutorials. Um, so if you guys want to watch those, I'll put them, um, all the links um, over here for you. So click on those. Let me know what you think of, and sort of the way that you weight um, your doll heads. But yeah, I hope you thought it was helpful and um, I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.